Theoretically, of course, let's say you take an RTX 2060 and give it unlimited power and cooling. Can it match the raw FPS of a 1590, no frame generation, no DLSS, just pure rasterization? The 2060 has 1920 CUDA cores, around 6.5 teraflops of compute, and a 192-bit memory bus pushing about 336GB per second. The 1590? It's in a different league. 21,760 CUDA cores, over 104 teraflops, a 512-bit bus, and 1.79 terabytes per second of bandwidth. That's nearly six times more memory throughput alone. Now, let's push the 2060 to the extreme, overclock the core to 2.2 gigahertz, boost the memory clocks, unlock power limits, run it under liquid nitrogen. At best, you might get eight or nine teraflops if you're lucky and the card doesn't artifact or crash. But the bottlenecks aren't just power or temperature. You're stuck with fewer ROPs, way less cash, lower memory capacity, a narrower bus, and much older architecture. The 2060 was built on Turing. The 1590 is Blackwell 2.0, generations ahead in efficiency and parallel processing. In games, even with all the overclocking magic, the 2060 might hit 60 FPS on high at 1080p, but the 1590 it does over like 100 FPS on ultra at 4K with ease. So, no, raw performance can't be brute force. You can stretch the 2060's legs, but it's never going to run the same race. Silicone matters.